So guys, uh, I did a thing. <laughs> You read that thumbnail, right? I bought over 150 yards of fabric. So today I am going to show you all of that fabric. If you're new here, my name is Laura and I run a small handmade business. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. So yeah, I went to a garage sale of someone getting rid of a majority of their fabric and I bought over 150 yards of it. Uh, most of this fabric is in yard pieces or less. Uh, some of it's over that, but not a lot. <laughs> uh, what you see behind me is about what everyone else is buying and more. I'm talking tables and tables of fabric filling a garage and the stacks were at least two feet tall. It was amazing. So yeah, uh, come with me as I show you all the fabric I got. So as you saw in the intro, it was a lot of fabric. Um, I've kind of put it in groups and I'll show it to you guys uh, real fast, just in a couple different groups. As you know, it's over 150 yards of fabric, so a lot to show. Uh, so first thing we have is Christmas lights and the Christmas group. This is a um, fleece and then everything else in here is cotton. Um, I put this in the Christmas group. It's not entirely Christmas, maybe more like 4th of July, but I figured it'd be better in the Christmas group. Sorry, this one's inside out. This is snowmen. Kind of a more old fashioned snowman kind. This is just a uh, mixed pattern. Uh, probably totes from this, just because if from everything else, I have to make the lines super, super straight. Gingerbread men. Then we have several different ornaments, big and small. We have this angel one. Um, I may use this for a personal project to cut out these pieces and uh, applique them. Some basic stars on green, more snowmen. There's a lot of snowmen. Um, the woman I got these from really, really likes snowmen and animals in general. Uh, another square pattern, much smaller this time. Some holly on cream. Uh, this one, she had a lot of these. So she really liked the, well, let's see if I can open it. She really liked the pieces that were patterns already on fabric. And this was one of them. So I may just make some pillows from this. I thought it was really cute. Some very, <laughs> very classic Christmas fabric. We have, oh, let me just bring the pile over. We have just green with some snowflakes, uh, some holly. It's kind of an interesting Christmas one. It could almost go not Christmas. You have to look close at it for the candy canes. This one I think is either holly or hearts. I'm not sure, not a lot of it, like maybe a quarter yard. These two came in a pack together. I'm guessing it was a project pack. More holly. This one, I'm really not sure what to do with this one. It looked cute at the time. It's also a little dark where they had all the fabric, so I couldn't see too well the colors. Some Christmas trees. This one's hard to see. Let me see if I can show you guys. There we go. So yeah, it's just a cream with some snowflakes. Another eclectic pattern so it has some recipes and just some sayings polar bears this fabric's weird though if someone can help me identify this it is really i mean you can kind you can see the grain of the fabric and it's kind of rough i'm not really sure what it is it doesn't really feel like a cotton some teddy bears more classic Christmas, more of that snowflake pattern, but in uh, green and red, some uh, toy soldier men, Christmas animals, more holly, but in red this time, two different hollies. This one I cannot wait. This is going to make some gorgeous scrunchies along with this holly one. 
And that is it for Christmas. So on to the rest of the fabric that was not even a quarter of it. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. So this next group is roosters and chickens. She really, really loved roosters and chickens. So some really nice things. I'll end up releasing this as one whole collection just because there's so much of it. And I didn't even take half of these prints. It is amazing how many different chicken prints there are out there. So some really cool ones. This one's neat. This is like cow print meets rooster. It's really cool. Um, this is just a farm one. It has a rooster in it, but it also has a dachshund. Kind of cute. Several pieces of this. She must have done a couple projects with this because there's several pieces of it. I didn't even take all this one even. I love this one. Rainbow chickens. They're so cute. Uh, this is a canvas. Um, so I'll end up making bags from this big rooster. This one's a little weird. Very small. Um, we'll see what I do with this. It may be one scrunchie. Otherwise, one makeup bag. I picked up this one. So it is just a line on one side of Farm Fresh. And then the rest is just eggs. So we'll see. She had some very big prints for roosters. So this eclectic print. These chicks are adorable. Tons of chicks. Super cute fabric. Another big one. This will end up being um, bags because it's too big for anything else. Um, probably totes or backpacks. This one's different. It does look almost the same, but it is a different print. Super cute. And this is very much an Easter print. So it's chicks and um, some chickens in frames and then this like ribbon down the side. So yeah, that's all. The, again, she loved chickens and this is not even a quarter of her chicken prints. Uh, this group is just a mixed bag group. Didn't really have a place to put these ones. So hearts with stars, some lizards. This one's a bunch of signs. Um, I'm guessing for like a bistro or kind of like an Italian street or something. For all you yarn lovers out there, this is like the perfect one. If you crochet your knit, you know what I mean? This one's super cute. This one will probably end up being pillows for someone in my family. Um, again, it's the pattern on um, fabric that you just cut out and make. So it's just cats on both sides. This one's nice. This one is uh, all about the tea. And uh, yeah, this one's cute. Everyone that loves fabric will love this one for sure. This one's interesting. So if you look closer at it, you can see a woman picking flowers. It's a very uh, Asian print. And then these came with it. So she must have been doing some uh, quilt with this one. Another cat one, another cat for pillows. I have a lot of people that like cats in my family, so these will end up being pillows for them. Winery, so I'll make totes from that. Cowboy boots and hats. This one's really cool. Some teddy bears. And then this one is um, crafting and sewing. So I'll probably make something for the uh, craft room out of this. And then I pick these up. Uh, these I'll end up putting on totes. I'm just going to applique them. Um, they are supposed to be, uh, so you have the one side, then you have the seam allowance, and then you have the other side, and then you stuff them. Uh, these were all mixed in amongst her stuff, so I'll probably just use them for applique on totes. Ooh, let's see. Mushroom. Oh, yeah, there's this scarecrow, I think. I'm not really sure. Yeah, and there's another scarecrow. When pigs fly. I'll end up making that into a pencil case for my niece. More cats. She had lots of cats. And then this bird print is actually by the same one, uh, same person that did the lizard print. It's really uh, rainbowy and really nice. Feels amazing. Uh, this is who it's by. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Clothworks. Feels really good, this cotton. 
And then this is just um, coffee again, but in squares. So probably we'll use it as a pocket on a tote. All right, so we are about a quarter way through the fabric now, uh, going into another holiday. So I'll see you guys back here in a moment. So most of this stuff is the rest of the holiday stuff. Uh, and then after this, it's just in other groups like floral and whatnot. Um, but once we're done with this, it'll mark halfway through. <laughs> Um, if you guys have any suggestions on uh, how to, uh, some projects you'd like to see me do with some of these or your favorite fabrics, um, I may also be doing a de-stash at some point, either on the website or eBay, and I'll let you guys know on my socials if I do that. Um, again, it, it was really, really dark. They had all these fabrics. They just lined them up underneath the house and in the garage with very little light. So... I couldn't see some of the colors of these, so some of them I'm a little iffy on now, seeing them in the light. Um, and as always, I do wash all of the fabrics I get before making anything out of them because I don't know where these have been stored, how well they've been stored. Um, where I live in Hawaii, there's a lot of mold if you're not dehumidifying all the time, so don't worry, these will all be washed. So anyway, uh, starting with Valentine's Day. Not a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. Just a couple prints. Uh, this is real basic. I may not even keep it for Valentine's Day necessarily. Um, definitely thinking about doing makeup bags in these or um, clutches or something. This one's really subtle. It's flowers, but they're hearts. You can just see them. They're really cute. And this is very in your face. Very traditional. This one's probably a newer cotton. Uh, just because it doesn't feel as soft. It may actually be a poly mix. I'll be testing a lot of these to make sure they're cotton or to see if they're poly mixes. This one's nice too. Oh, and also can't really see it in the camera too well, but a lot of the ones with gold on them are actually sparkly gold. Just it doesn't show up in the camera as well. All right, I know it's roosters again, but this is all the 4th of July stuff. So a lot of farm stuff, a lot of roosters for 4th of July. Uh, I did keep it separate from the roosters because I'll really sit towards 4th of July. This one's a nice one. Uh, this one I'm not so sure about. I don't really like the crow with the American flag and star. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one because I'm a little iffy on it. And from far away, it doesn't look as nice. It looks, I'll be honest, I thought these were something more dangerous initially. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this because I don't know if I'm going to keep this one and use it. This is another crow or magpie with a little hat. Your classic American flag-ish. Only has one big star, but I mean, you can't really put 50 stars on something so small. This one's all about friends and justice. I have to really look at it over here. Maybe you guys can read it a bit better. Another one of the uh, magpies with flags. Firecrackers. Actually, they look like Roman candles. Um, did any of you guys play with Roman candles as kids? I got to do it one year when New York brought back fireworks. And then they disappeared again. And then you have this one. It's on cream. It looks a little white in the video, but it's on cream. Right, and then next, we have Halloween and fall. These happy green bats. Moons and stars. This one's kind of cool. I don't quite like the yellow on it, but it's a nice print. Dancing skeletons. More dancing skeletons. Again, these two feel like that new cotton that doesn't feel quite like cotton. It's not very soft, but we'll see after I wash them. There's a lot of this that she got a yard of and uh, never used, so it's never been washed before. This one's nice. You, again, you can't really see it on camera. Oh, maybe you can see it on camera a bit, but it's got sparkles all across it. And then this is the other one with a line and then up. So I'm thinking this was for like sheets or a quilt. But the witch is kind of cute. Cats and trick-or-treaters. This one I actually own some of, um, about the same amount too. It's been cut and it's less than a yard, but this one's kind of cool. 
All right, this one, I fell in absolute love with when I saw it. It's just corn. But it's cute. More pumpkins. This one doesn't have any shine to it. And this is a Thanksgiving print. I honestly didn't think they made Thanksgiving fabric, but apparently they did at some point. I haven't seen it myself in years, but it's cute. And this is the rest of the fall fabric. So can anyone tell me what that bird is? Is it a magpie? Is it a crow, a raven? I'm not really sure. So yeah, we have kind of like the boys and the girls or just trying to stay warm. I think these are sunflowers. This is that same one again, not really well drawn bird. And this one is the same, just two different colors. Kind of like it more on the blue, I think. The birds stand out and the pumpkins stand out a bit more. So yeah, so that is it for the holiday fabric. We are halfway through this haul. If you want to go take a break, um, I'll be back with more of the florals next. So these aren't quite all of my floral fabrics. Some of them are pulled to be um, fillers for flocked makeup bags already, um, which I'll show in the next segment. But first, I'm going to get through these and some of the smaller groupings. So this one is just a uh, simple little daisy on lines. This one's super cute. It's actually may go well with the daisy even. Oop, there we go. Some flowers with some butterflies. Bees with sunflowers. This one is cute. And I have seen this pattern somewhere before. Not on a fabric, I think though. Maybe on a clothing or something for a kid. I'm not sure. I've seen this bird though before. This one has been around forever. <laughs> About 15 years ago, I made a uh, quilt with the pink and purple for my niece. So this has been around for a long, long time. But this is the green. Very nice, super shiny. I'm not sure if you can quite see the shiny, but covered in sparkles. They don't come off, which is nice. You can probably find this at your local uh, fabric store with ease because they've been around forever. And I see them in every fabric store I go in. And then we have this one, really simple flower. Bees and honey. Ladybugs. More ladybugs, but these are, uh, maybe they're ladybugs. They look like ladybugs, but they're yellow. So I'm not quite sure. Simple block floral, brown with vines. This is probably about three yards. I'm not quite sure what she was gonna do with this. And this is another not great feeling cotton. So I'll have to test that one out, but by the looks of it, it is a vintage cotton. I added this in floral just because it's floral fans, but super cute. These are some of the big printed florals. Not sure what I'll really do with these. These are really, really large in print. This one has some shine to it. All the gold lines are shiny. This is a really subtle print. Ah, oh, this one's a throwback. Go back to the 70s with this. This is a huge print. This, I... I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. This print doesn't repeat itself for a while. It's a really beautiful piece, but it's very, very large. Maybe I'll use it on the backing of a quilt instead. Some more ladybugs. And these ones I may use as fillers. These are good filler fabrics or just be the straight fabric. Some daisies. I have this... Um, Actually, surprisingly, I just bought this um, from a warehouse clearance sale in two other colors the week prior to getting it uh, at this garage sale. So that's it for floral besides, again, what is already pulled to be um, for block makeup bags, which I'll show you here shortly. But first of all, let's go to this pile. So this pile is just uh, smaller groupings. We have peppers vegetables what I think are vegetables we're not sure if it's vegetables or succulents 
It's an interesting fabric for sure. This is a gardening fabric. And these are what I call my outdoorsy fabrics. So we got deers and bears, bigger one with a cabin in the woods, another outdoorsy fabric, hiking fabric. These are really cool. A lot of these are gonna end up being bags or maybe even um, shorts. Duck stamps. Then we have two teacher fabrics, and these are probably gonna end up being pencil cases, but I found this one to be really cute with rulers and, um, oh, what are they called? Oh, crayons, there we go. Ah, lots of fabric we've been going through. Another cute one. And then we have, this is shiny too, you can't really see it, but there's a lot of silver in it. So this is polar bears and other Arctic animals. And we have penguins. This also has lots of shine in it. We have cows. We have this one that repeats itself over and over. So horses, teepees. We'll see what we make out of this one. This one looked better in the not too much light than it did in the actual light. This is all farm animals. And then we go into kind of the tropical ones. So this is pineapples or pineapples. <laughs> Whoops. Um, palm trees. <laughs> this is a local flower. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do it a little closer. Whoops, wrong way. That's a local flower here. And then you got the birds with the pineapples. This one I've seen a lot. This one's around quite a bit. Uh, if you want to know, Ooh, let's see if I can pull up the, the maker for you guys. So, by Cranstones, 2003. It, this print's still around, trust me. I've seen this print, so if you would like this print, you can definitely find it. Bamboo and brown. Some Honus. This print's definitely around. Though this, I'm pretty sure, is a poly cotton because it usually comes in a poly cotton. And then we have the Grass Shack with surfboard. So this will end up being a uh, tote for sure. It's really cute. And again, by VIP. A lot of these are more vintage. She's had this stack of fabric for a long time. She became more of a fabric collector than a maker. So... All right, so we have just half more of, well, I should say we have a quarter more to go. Uh, it'll be a stack of my own personals and then uh, a stack of novelty and the stuff already pulled for makeup bags. So I'll be right back. So we're almost done. Just a couple more, um, well, a couple more pieces. It's like 30 more pieces, but we're almost there. Um, this is like a, not a suede. Um how do I say? Oh, you guys know what I mean. But this one's just simple. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Uh, if it was in a cotton, I'd use it for sure. But in this material, we'll see what we do because I don't... Flannel! There we go. Flannel is the word. I don't think I will really make clothes with this flannel and it won't be... It's too small for the backing for a baby quilt and it's not really the right colors for a baby quilt. So we'll see. Some corduroys. I couldn't believe it when I saw this. I've been trying to find printed corduroys for a while and I haven't been able to. So I found this one. I'll definitely make some scrunchies from this. Uh, and this black corduroy, I think I'll save um, just because I like using corduroy for patching some things. And I don't have a lot of it. So these are some novelty fabrics. Just music notes and rainbow color. This fabric's been around for a long time. Uh, this one I have a couple pieces of but I thought it was really cute. It'll be totes for sure. And then there is Tweety Bird as a nurse. So I'll have to make something for my mom since she's a nurse from this, but I'll end up making probably bags. There's, I think, about two yards here, so I'll definitely get a, a bag or two out of this. So these fabrics have um, been pulled already for makeup bags. 
so they'll end up being fillers. Small daisy prints. So yeah, I mean, if you think of a quilting fabric, these pretty much are, are if you think of quilting fabrics for fillers, that's what these are. Just a yellow, just a black. Not really sure what this design is, but it's a green, uh, green brown, polka dot black. This is like a Valentine's Day fabric. It'll probably go with one of the other ones as a filler. Plain orange. Very small piece of a uh, blue purple polka dot. Orange gingham. These are both cork fabric. Just in two different colors. So that'd be good for filler. Just a square fabric in brown. More black. Floral maroon. Lined maroon. Wow, oh, this it actually honestly looks kind of like a tortilla shell. More of that lined fabric. And some of these pieces are really small. I may not be able to use them. They may just go into a scrap quilt. Like this piece. It's like an eighth of a yard. It's very small. More black fabric. Though this one's a little bit lighter black. More towards a gray. Another brown one. This is always a good filler. I've seen this around. When you need polka dots, you need polka dots. This is a peachy polka dot. Yellow squares. This one is, it's more dark than it's coming up on the camera. Red one, blue one, plain blue, though this is a much thicker cotton, so we'll see. And then this is actually textured. We'll see what we use that for. All right, so the last little bit I have to show is just the fabrics I'm keeping for my own personal projects. Um, I'll fly through those real quick and then I'll wrap up. All right, so this is the last group. These are just fabrics I pulled for own personal use. Um, I'm making a cat quilt. So I tried to pull some of the smaller cat fabrics. They may not go together. We'll see what I use and what I don't use for it. Um, I pulled a lot of things like this. I have a tree skirt I want to finish by appliqueing on. Um, and she had these little projects, so I figured these would be good. Um, if you see uh, some of my videos this month, you'll see me actually doing that and how I'm going to applique. And this is another one I just saved to uh, cut off things to applique, though it's a little bit big. So if we'll see if I'll use it for that or not. Like I said, I'm going to probably end up destashing in January or February of things I don't use. So same thing, just for applique. This one I saved. I actually have someone I'm gonna make this for. It's a really pretty cat with blue. And then I saved a lot of stuff that I could use for children's quilts, uh, since there's lots of children coming up in the family. It's a cute frog one. Oh, this I say for applique too. This one, I'm actually <laughs> gonna use this on an apron for a uh, Hanai niece of mine. Hoping there's more boys in the family because we've had mainly girls, but I thought the caveman one was super cute. So I'll use that for a quick quilt. And this is a flannel. So I'll use this for backing on some quilt. This is another one. I'm actually gonna make pillowcases from this uh, for myself. This is the perfect size to cover um, a pillow I have in a, an unfortunate green color that does not look so green, but more towards a brown. More farm animals. Well, not really, not really farm animals. We have farm animals mixed with zoo animals, but it'll be good for a children's quilt. The ABCs. Thomas the Train. I kept this as a filler. More stuff for applique. Like I said, I have like way too much stuff for applique. I may use some of it on totes to applique, but it gave me options. Bunny with hearts. And then outdoors with um, birds. 
This will be super cute in a quilt or a beach quilt. These two together. And this one has numbers. So I may do the numbers with the letters. And this one also. So this one is like a sheet set or for the back of the quilt. So this is for a sheet set or a back of a quilt. So it's got just the numbers going up. Um, it's actually, I think, looking at the ducks and how the numbers are all done, I think these two go together. Um, so I may put them together, I may separate them out. It's just a nice filler fabric for quilts, especially with all the girl quilts I'm doing. Cat flannel, I'm gonna use this on the back of a quilt. She's got a couple pieces here. There's actually another at the bottom here. Um, this one's probably big enough, plus extra, and this one is not, so I'm just gonna piece together. This is actually the color scheme of a quilt I want, so I pulled this to go and try and match some fabrics to it. This is belts. I thought it was really cool. I think I'm gonna make something from that. Another flannel with cats, very plain one. It's kind of small though. She cut them up already, so I'm gonna to have to um, piece them back together. And last but not least, a really nice child's um, nighttime safari quilt is what I'm gonna make from that. So yeah, that's just about everything. Um, I also, of course, was able to get like buttons and um, some notions, not a lot of notions. She did a lot of crafty stuff, but didn't sew. A ton with notions if you know what I mean. She, like she made stuffed animals and whatnot. So yeah that was all the fabric I got at the garage sale. I uh, ended up paying about a dollar a yard because she just wanted to get rid of it all. I uh, got some notion things like buttons and whatnot. I figured you guys didn't really need to see that. Um, but yeah let me know uh, what fabric is your favorite. Uh, what you would like to see me make with some of the fabric and what has been your best fabric find. Until next time, bye!